Students, we today verify the truth table of NAND, NOR and XOR gates. First we study NOR gate. Okay, this is the basic gate diagram of the NOR gate. Two inputs are there, one output is there. And second, the truth table for this one. This is input side A and B and Y is the output. When 0, 0 is there, 1 we should get. Other all conditions, 0 we should get. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 we should get output 0. And this is the pinout diagram. Again here certain changes, 1 changes is there. In this case, only in this case, pin number 1 is output, 2 and 3 are input. Pin number 4 is output, 5 and 6 are input. Again pin number 7 is ground. 8 and 9 pin are input, 10 is output, 11 and 12 are input, 13 is output, again 14 is VCC that is a supply, that is the same, there is no change in VCC and ground, pin number 7 is ground, 14 is VCC. So we study now and use the IC number is 7402 for the NOR gate IC number. And the same gate I see I will take now. So this is 7402. One notch is there and one dot is there. So this is pin number 1 and this is pin number 7 and this is 8 and this is 14. As usual we should read the pinout diagram U. Capital U of the English letter. And I will insert now this in the zig so that at the top the notch should be at the top and I should tighten this zig so that the IC is held properly inside the zig. So accordingly this becomes pin number 1, this becomes pin number 7, this becomes 8 and this becomes 14. As you know I should give the VCC and ground. So for the VCC I am connecting a red wire so that it is easily understood for you. So this is 14 pin VCC connection I have given and the 7th pin I am giving ground to this one. So 7th pin ground. So now as per the truth table 2 and 3 are the inputs. So this is 2. Again, I have to connect to the input and again 3, I have to connect to the input, pin number 1 is output, so I am connecting to this one. So when I on the power button, when A and B or 0 I should get 1 over here when I on it you see here clearly it is 1 rest of all the combination it should show 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 only for both the zeros input output should be high so this I have explained for inside this again four gates are there I have only explained about one gate and I will remove the connection and show it to you for this gate now fourth gate that is 11 and 12 are input 13 as output I will going to connect to now so the 13th pin this is the 13th pin output again pin number 12 and 11 are input you see clearly again 0 0 is there 1 I will get so 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 so I have checked two gates out of this IC this con consists of four gates
NAND gate. For this one, again A and B, two inputs are there and one output is there. So this is the truth table for the NAND gate. When both the inputs are 0, 0, so output should be 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. When both are high, that is 1, 1, it should show 0. And this is the pinout diagram for the IC NAND gate. Its IC number is 7400. Again here, 4 gates are embedded inside this 7400. Pin number 7 is ground and 14 is VCC. In this, pin number 1 and 2 are input, 3 is output. 4 and 5 are input, 6 is output. 9 and 10 are input, 8 is output. 12 and 13 are input, 11 is output. And already you know 14 is VCC and 7 is ground. So now I will going to connect this IC to the ZIG now. So see the IC number clearly it is written 7400. It is clearly written. Again notch is there. So this is pin number 1 of the IC and this is pin number 7 of the IC. Again this is 8 and this is 14th pin of the IC. This also IC has got 14 pins. So now I will going to connect this IC to the trainer zig and tight it like this so that it held tightly. Now I will give the VCC and ground wires as usual 14th pin is VCC I have given and 7th pin as ground that also given now. So now I should connect to the input and output. So pin number 1 and 2 are input. So that I will going to connect over here. 1 this one to the input side this one. And 2 to input of this one. And the third pin output connected to this side. So you can see now, so when I on this one power supply for 0, 0 as per the truth table, 0, 0 it should show 1. So it is clearly showing 1. 1, 0 also I will get 1. So for 0 and 1 also I will get 1. When both are 1, 1 it should show 0. So as per the truth table, I have checked the IC condition that is in good condition. I already explained this gate number 1. Inside the 7400, 4 gates are there. So I already explained and show it to you the output also for uh, this one gate number 1. So now I will explain this one also at the other side. VCC and ground are same 7 and 14 so pin number 9 and 10 so this is 8 9 pin input 10 pin input pin number 8 is output so pin number 8 I have connected to the output side so when I on the power button so both are 0 0 it should show high it is showing secondly 0 1 it should show high 1 0 it should show high when both are 1 1 it should show low so as per this IC is in good condition so I have checked gate number 1 and gate number 3 of the IC this consists of 4 gates that is IC uh, NAND gate 7400 students let us discuss now next that is XOR gate its IC number is 7486 so this is the IC gate symbol of the IC gate again two inputs are there one output is there so this is the truth table for this IC XOR gate. 
सो वेन बोथ आर जीरो जीरो आई शुड गेट आउटपुट एज जीरो जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन 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 जीरो आई शुड गेट दिस इज द पिन आउट डायग्राम सेवन फोर एट सिक्स आई सी नंबर सो अगेन इट इज द फोर्टीन पिन आई सी सेवेंथ पिन इज द ग्राउंड एंड फोर्टीन पिन इज वी सी सी आई शुड गिव क्लियरली द बोथ द वायर्स टू वर्क द आई सी अकॉर्डिंग टू द ट्रू टेबल दिस आई सी कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर गेट्स वन टू थ्री फोर सो नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एंड शो इट टू यू द कंडीशन ऑफ द आई सी फॉर द सेकेंड गेट एंड द फोर्थ गेट सो एज पर द सेकेंड गेट पिन नंबर फोर एंड फाइव आर इनपुट सिक्स इज आउटपुट द फोर्थ गेट पिन नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड थर्टीन आर इनपुट एंड इलेवन इज आउटपुट आई विल शो यू बोथ द कंडीशन ऑफ दिस टू गेट्स सो नाउ आई विल कनेक्ट द आई सी इट इज रिटर्न सेवन फोर एट सिक्स I see number is seven four eight six. You can see over here. Again, as usual, the notch is there. Pin number one, and this is pin number seven. This is pin number eight, and this is pin number fourteen. So the same I see. I will going to connect to the IC trainer zig. So I see top should be held over here and bottom here. Again, I should tighten the zig pin. So this becomes. i uh, pin number 1 and 7 this is 8 and this is 14 this is vcc and this is ground so for vcc again i should give the red wire so for the ground that is 7 i should give the black wire so as i told you earlier the second gate i will going to explain pin number 4 pin number 4 5 and 6 4 5 and 6 i will show you to you so 6 is the output that i have connected and 4 it is input one pin and the fifth one also input to this one so now i will on the power supply so for Zero zero, both zero zero. I should get zero according to the truth table. Both are zero zero. I should get so clearly you can see zero. When zero one is there, one I should get. When one zero is there, one I should get. When one one is there, zero I should get. So clearly, you can see the IC is in working condition. As per the truth table, I shown the input and output uh, truth table of the IC seven four eight six. So now I will explain to you the fourth gate. That is pin number eleven is output, twelve and thirteen is input. So the same I will going to connect. So eleven. This is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is output, and twelve is input. Thirteen is also input. So now I on the trainer kit. So again, see the output there. Zero zero zero. I should get zero one 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 zero one. One one zero. So the IC now is in working condition. We can tell. Thank you.